Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, obviously no uh, matches to talk about from this past weekend because none of them actually happened because of the coronavirus. But we did get a watch point yesterday where they talked about some of the things that are happening going forward. So I wanted to talk about those today uh, and look ahead at what we have coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, next month or so, I guess. So let's start with the matches returning. They'll be returning this weekend, this Saturday. They will be returning. And we will be getting four matches, two on Saturday and two on Sunday. The first one will be the San Francisco Shock taking on the Seoul Dynasty. So we'll get to see the Seoul Dynasty for the first time. Uh, we have not seen them play once yet, so it'll be nice to see them finally hit the stage. And the San Francisco Shock only played once, so it'll be good to see them once again. And then we have the LA Valiant taking on the LA Gladiators, a battle for LA. Uh, the Valiant have two matches uh, played already. The Gladiators only have one. So a lot of teams we haven't seen much from yet, so... Good uh, set of matches there on Saturday. We on to Sunday. We have the Seoul Dynasty taking on the LA Gladiators and the San Francisco Shock taking on the LA Valiant. So it's a it's an interesting week. It's a pretty tough week, I think, for the Valiant. We'll see how they do. I think they're the ones that have the tougher road, uh, but it'll be interesting. <clears throat> I think that's going to be a cool thing to see. Uh, for the future, they were talking uh, with John Spector, the Watchpoint crew was, who is the VP of the Overwatch League, uh, and. John Spector had gave, you know, a couple of things such as the fact that the teams will be broken up into three different groups. Uh, the three different groups are very, very simple. You have the Atlantic group. So all of the Atlantic conference teams are in the Atlantic group uh, because all of them are somewhere in the eastern uh, U.S., except for Houston, uh, who are in Texas, of course. Uh, and then you have the uh, Pacific group which is six of the Pacific teams. Uh, and it's because it is the six Pacific teams that are based right now on the West Coast of North America, plus Dallas. Um, so you have, of course, Vancouver, San Francisco, the two LA teams, Dallas, and then you have Seoul, who are currently uh, in Los Angeles. I believe all four of the uh, teams that are playing this upcoming weekend are all playing in, in Los Angeles right now which is my guess for why they want them to play first, because it's like we have four teams currently in Los Angeles, which means latency shouldn't be as much of an issue. So we're going to have these teams play uh, at the first online matches so that we can make sure there's not as many problems, which I think is interesting. They also talked about uh, another interesting thing, which is that in order to catch up with the matches, uh, because what their their plan is to have the teams play all of the matches that they would have played in March and April, uh, so that come May, the season can get back on track to where it was, uh, whether that be playing online or not. Uh, I don't really know exactly what their plan is yet. We'll have to see how the situation with the coronavirus evolves and changes. But uh, they're going to start adding matches on Fridays. So they're going to have three match days a week up from the four match days a week. Uh, not this weekend yet, starting probably next weekend or the weekend after that, I would assume. Uh, but we're going to get a full schedule out sometime this uh, week. Uh, I just don't know when, of course, because they didn't tell us when we can expect them. So those are some of the big things, uh, just in terms of the scheduling and... The matches that are coming up i think it's very interesting i think it's really good to see all these kinds of uh changes um and uh it's interesting to see i'm a big fan of what we've seen with the uh the changes that they've announced so far uh but we'll, we'll move on to another change they announced which is a change to the hero pools uh as you know, or you might know in the past, for the past two hero pool drawings, uh, any hero that had a 10% pick rate was just thrown into the pool that could be pulled from equal amounts. But they're changing it now so that heroes with 10 to 25% play rate will receive one ticket in the selection lottery. Heroes that are 25 to 50% play rate will get two tickets, 50 to 75% will get three tickets, and then 75% uh beyond we'll get four tickets so there is now a uh, weighted selection for hero pools which i 100 uh, percent agree with i like the ability that there is a random factor 
but I I prefer if it's the kind of thing where if say Soldier 76, you know, had like a 11% play rate and got pulled, that it feels like a huge pull as opposed to being like, oh, here's a hero that like nobody ever actually played. The one thing I that I think a lot of people may say could be a problem is that some people may be like, well, I want to have this, you know, hero band, or the teams might say, like, you know, we want this hero band, so let's try to play as much of this hero as possible this week um, against an opponent that we know we're going to beat, so that next week when we play this good team, that hero maybe gets banned. That's a certainly a, a, a problem that could exist and could be something that we see happen, um, and that's just something we have to try to hope doesn't really happen but who knows there are a lot of other stuff on the or lots of other things on the watch point uh show i'll link to it in the description down below if you want to watch it they talked to soon they talked to super so there's some stuff with that and you know it was what it was but but what i think is the most telling thing was the john specter conversation and learning from john specter kind of what their plans are going forward and i i think that a lot of what they were saying and talking about i actually uh, hope will go well. Um, you know, we're still going to get casting. We're still going to get uh, streamed matches and all that kind of stuff. So that's fine and that's good. But um, I think that it's going to be an interesting thing to see how it all changes and moves and how the league differs in an online setting as opposed to a live setting because it will be different. Um you know, I just don't know exactly how different it'll be. Uh, but I'm curious to see uh, how the teams interact and how the teams play differently now that the league is moving completely online um, for the time being. And I'm curious to see if it'll affect teams at all, if certain teams will become better playing online uh, or not. Probably not. I don't really think that's a thing. Like, certain heroes might not be as good. Like, Winston might not be as good. Uh, because everyone talks about how Winston gets like that tick, you know, the it's there with no no lag, his he just feels a lot better. You know, that that's something that people talk about all the time. So we'll see. Um I, I'm just curious to see how the teams uh interact and how the teams play differently and kind of what types of things we see. Uh will we still get to see post match interviews, but you know, done maybe a little differently than than normal. Uh, something like what we see in Contenders where they just like you know get them on face cam and just talk to them through their own computers or whatever uh, it'll be interesting to see I, I do really you know like seeing the players doing their thing and seeing kind of the emotion in the players and I think that's going to be something I'm going to miss with this going on but I'm going to take whatever I can get I'm not going to I'm not going to complain obviously the coronavirus is a serious problem and I'm not going to be like oh I need to see all the players and I need to see the audience because that's not really reasonable right now. And it's just not safe and healthy. And it's honestly just not a smart thing to do. So that's really where I fall on that. Uh, but that's everything I have for you today. It's a pretty short video. So I'll leave you guys now. So if you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing. Let me know down below your thoughts on anything that was talked about in the Watchpoint uh, show. And... Uh, yeah, so that's that's all I got for you. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you all stay safe, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.